Hello, my name is Russ Krull and I'm a technical sales representative with Field. And we're here today to take a look at a case that we call the uh, pinion nut cold forming versus screw machining conversion. We're going to take a look at uh, the benefits sometimes in select uh, product applications of forming a part versus machining a part from bar stock. In this case, our customer was building a gearbox using this pinion nut as machined to line up everything, tighten everything. In that excessive torque that was applied, they were experiencing some amount of cracking of that machined part. Machined parts, uh, by definition, have uh, tight corners, sharp corner breaks, areas where failure can initiate. Cold forming, in contrast, um, features uh, uninterrupted, uninterrupted grain flow. So uh, we'll take a look at uh, what exactly is meant by that. The part on the left, as you can see, is the cold formed part, and the part on the right is the part as screw machine. So the challenge to field was, for this part, could it be made by cold forming with limited machining as opposed to complete machining? Uh, we consulted with our manufacturer supplier, the cold forming experts, our engineering team linked up with our supplier, and it was determined that yes, the part could be made as a blank, in this case by cold forming. And just as a bit of a uh, review, take a look at this uh, schematic. Bar stack means 10 to 12 foot uh, random lengths of steel bar are machined and all the excess material around the net part that we want is cut away, ending up with a certain amount of metal scrap. That's the process that was used. Cold forming utilizes cold forming wire, coil form, a very short cutoff blank that is then formed by impact force to create the net part without any scrap. Further, if we take a look at uh, normal bar stock material or wire, we'll see that there is an inherent grain flow within the strands of that raw material. When we machine the part, we interrupt that grain flow and we cut away that grain and we sacrifice strength. When we cold form, we force that metal and that grain to continue to flow and match the contour of the net cold formed blank. That is the benefit of cold forming in select cases versus screw machining. It's a stronger part, it's a faster rate of production. In this particular case, we were able to deliver a cost reduction of net piece price. We solved the quality problem, which our customer had been having. And as you'll see looking at the case study, it uh, generated around $32,000 per annum of cost savings, hard cost savings. It solved the problem and has been doing so for at least the last year. Thank you.